Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. More on Tropical Storm Cindy in a moment and how it may impact our weather. But your forecast tomorrow looks like we'll start off with some sunshine in the morning. 8 o'clock, 74 degrees. 82 at noon and 87 degrees at 5 o'clock. Partly sunny skies. There is a chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Again, mainly late in the day. Maybe a, a very slight chance we could see a spotty shower overnight. But it looks like most of the rain has died out now. More humid conditions tonight, that's for sure. And then we'll see that thunderstorm chance increasing by late tomorrow. But otherwise, a very very warm and humid day, and then showers and thunderstorms around on Friday, and that rain could be heavy. The reason, well, there's tropical storm Cindy. Top winds 50 miles an hour, moving north northwest at seven miles per hour, and that storm will head on up toward the Tennessee and Ohio River valleys as we get to Friday morning. So tropical moisture will be increasing in our area out ahead of a cold front, and because of that, rain chances will be rising too. Now here's the excessive rainfall outlook for Friday. Most likely area where we're really going to see heavy rain, Memphis, Nashville, up into central and eastern Kentucky, into West Virginia, maybe even southern Ohio. But even up here in the Dayton area, we're in a marginal to slight risk of some of that heavy rainfall. So an inch or two of rain uh, could easily fall in the area. And if that shifts a little farther north, that main rain core, we might even be in for some heavier precip on Friday. But the good news is we dry out just in time for air show weekend. Lows tonight muggy into the upper 60s in our area. Highs tomorrow afternoon should top out in the upper 80s over much of the region. Earlier tonight on the stall vision camera, we had a shower, even a thunder shower come in there. A couple of lightning strikes with that cell, mostly just some rain. Uh, but the rain has moved to the east tonight. There's a no threat really of severe weather over the next 24 hours, although as I mentioned, that thunderstorm possibility comes our way again late in the day on Thursday. There's that one lone cell that moved across the southern part of Montgomery County and then moved across Greene County, Xenia, over to Jamestown, and now passing eastward and falling apart as it moves out into Fayette County uh, in south central Ohio. Not much going on back to the west of us, but we still have this front draped across the area, so we can't completely rule out an isolated shower overnight. Still the winds trying to come together a little bit at the surface right along that boundary in, in some cases, but for the most part, uh, we'll stay generally dry until tomorrow evening. That's when the rain chance really bumps up. 76 currently, southwest wind at 8, muggy, 74% the relative humidity. Our weather checkers tonight in the 70s. Tom Westendorf cooling off to 74 with that thunder shower moving through. 71 with the low setters over in Jamestown, but otherwise some upper 70s even on the map. Jason Thompson there in Brookville at 79. So there's the front. You'll watch it start to shift northward as we get to tomorrow, and then those rain chances increasing into Thursday evening, Thursday night, and then watch on Friday with a cold front. Coming in from the northwest, we'll really see that chance of rain start to increase in the form of some of those heavier showers and thunderstorms. Tonight, partly cloudy, more humid, 68 for the low, and then a partly sunny, very warm, humid day tomorrow, maxing out in the upper 80s with a southwest wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour. 78 at 10 o'clock, up to 82 degrees at noon, mid and upper 80s in the afternoon with partly sunny skies at rain chance toward the evening. Friday's high, 80, showers and thunderstorms likely. 84 of the high on Saturday as the Dayton Vector and Dayton Air Show gets underway, but lower humidity air. Low rain chances Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, primarily in the afternoon hours. But look at those pleasant temperatures. Highs will be in the 70s and lows will be in the 50s. So a little bit of heat tomorrow and mm -hmm. humidity. Yep. And then uh, still muggy on Friday. But after that, we get back to some nice weather just in time for the weekend. All right, looks beautiful. Thanks, Brian.